A unique college course is teaching some Stony Brook students some important lessons beyond the classroom. Their goal is to establish Fire Island National Seashore as a World Heritage Site. This will give them the kind of practical everyday experience uh, that they're not getting maybe in some of the other courses which are dealing with, you know, read this book or read this chapter. This takes them into the middle of something that's happening right now and gives them their own stake in the outcome. The shore erosion project and the proposal of World Heritage Site would be good examples of taking a problem and watching it evolve into these uh, outcomes. I'm uh, attempting to instruct them on decision-making models uh, on the agency administrative side, the way the Corps of Engineers and the Interior Department and the State of New York will ultimately come to a, hopefully, a consensus on shore erosion and how they reach that. So that gives them an introduction into agency decision making. They are at that early stage where they're trying to digest all of the material. Uh, they've already, I believe, grasped the idea that everything is cost benefit or risk benefit. That came up in the very first lecture when we were talking about shore erosion, you know, how much is it going to cost and what are the benefits. Uh, and uh, I think that ultimately they may use the same methodology in deciding should there be a World Heritage Site. What are the risks, what are the costs, and what are the benefits? Former Fire Island Association President Gerard Stoddart recently addressed the class about the background of Fire Island. We went through historical changes, things that have happened over the years, the um, problems that the various communities are having and, and so forth. It's, uh, Fire Island is a very unique place and uh, I've been president of the association for 23 odd years, 24 years, and uh, Mr. Like thought it would be interesting for me to share some of those experiences with this class. There's only one World Heritage Site, Statue of Liberty, in New York State. Now, a World Heritage Site would have to be declared by uh, Congress and approved by UNESCO, and it is a, a very strictly regulated world center for travel and uh, for appreciation of historic and uh, natural environments and so on. Fire Island certainly qualifies on a variety of uh, levels for this, and we're trying to get people interested in it. Well, I think it's a very interesting um, project for them to undertake as a project, uh, because it's not that common. It's not something that every other class that you run into has already tried. Uh, and I think that some very good ideas are likely to come out of it, simply because there's never been any deep discussions of it. Chris Kalora reporting, Long Island Online News.